Now to a crucial day in the race for the White House. Voters are heading to the polls this morning in six states. Front runner Joe Biden racking up endorsements. Bernie Sanders drawing big crowds and hoping for a win in Michigan. Terry Moran is in Detroit with the latest for us. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Robin. They're calling it Mini Super Tuesday. Those six states, 352 delegates up for grabs. And isn't it amazing how fast this race has changed? Just a few days ago, Joe Biden was struggling. People were talking about Bernie Sanders being unstoppable. But today, Joe Biden has a shot at running the board and putting Bernie Sanders far behind him. Michigan, I'm counting on you in a big way. This morning, Joe Biden is looking to turn momentum into a Michigan victory, hitting the campaign trail with big name allies. Senator Cory Booker. I am so proud to be on Joe's team because Joe is on your team. And Senator Kamala Harris. We will elect Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. Two out of his 10 one-time rivals who are now backing Biden's bid for the nomination. With 147 delegates on the line in Michigan, a big night for the former vice president could be a knockout blow to Bernie Sanders. But the Vermont senator pulled off an upset primary win here in 2016, and he's not going down without a fight, drawing massive crowds. And he's using the coronavirus outbreak to sell his signature issue, Medicare for All. This is how crazy it is. We couldn't guarantee that when that vaccine is developed, they couldn't guarantee that people would be able to afford it. If elected president, everybody in this country will get that vaccine absolutely free. Well, Joe Biden says under his plan, the vaccine would be free as well, but we are a long way from that. The immediate question is, can these candidates continue to campaign this way uh, with the looming threat of this pandemic? Both sides say they check with the CDC. Joe Biden has really stepped away from those rope lines. Uh, campaigning under the shadow of the coronavirus is tough, no question. George? And Terry, you mentioned it four years ago, Bernie Sanders was 20 points behind in the polls. He upset Hillary Clinton. If he doesn't get that kind of an upset tonight, he has virtually no path to get a majority of pledged delegates for the nomination. You know, that is the hard truth facing Bernie Sanders. No question about it, George. Uh, even if he does well here or there, maybe he pulls off an upset in Idaho. He will be so far behind that he'll have to win 60, 65 percent of the remaining delegates to catch up. Uh, he's in the same state he was following Hillary Clinton uh, four years ago. George? We will be watching tonight. Tara Moran, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA